The sound of diesel engines breaks the early morning silence at Albright Farms. Every Sunday, Tom Albright, his sons JT and Jesse, and their other employees get up before the sun so they can make it to downtown Baltimore by 5 a.m. Here under the expressway, they're one of over 100 vendors that transform this empty parking lot into a bustling market. It's just pile it high and kiss it goodbye. During four decades of selling at the Baltimore Farmer's Market and Bazaar, Tom Albright has learned a few tricks, including something as simple as how to arrange his tables. I said it's like a fish trap. They come down and they get caught and then they stand there and they buy. You know, if you just have a straight aisle, they walk right on by, they keep walking. Well, here if they get back in, get them to stop, they purchase. By 7.30, the market has exploded with sights, sounds, and smells. Customers have a chance to meet growers face to face and learn not only where products come from, but also how to use them. The thing with the annual yeah. is you get vibrant color all summer. Perennial, you're going to get a two-week window. This is like the top end of the cut, where this is, comes from like lower down. So it's got a little bit. This is a little bit leaner. Just go like this. Oh, yeah, and it'll push out. Oh, I didn't know that. A good steak for Father's Day. How much do you love your father? <laughs> for my husband, a lot. Oh, that would do fine. That would do fine in morning sun. Afternoon sun's more difficult. Oh, I see. For farmers, selling direct to customers rather than in bulk to stores potentially means higher profits. The Albrights sell everything direct. Eggs, produce, flowers, turkey, beef, and more. All starting on their 350-acre farm in Moncton, Maryland. We don't have large acres. We don't have the ground to be able to selectively produce one or two crops to make our living. So we have to kind of diversify and spread it out, use our acres in the best way we can for our neighborhood to be able to make a living. Growing all these plants and raising all these animals requires a lot of hard work. You know, both my children told me when they were teenagers going off to college, it didn't want anything to do with farming any longer. I said, Dad, you work too hard. You don't get any time off. You don't do this and that. So I was kind of slowing down a little bit so that I could handle things myself and I figured I'd ride off into the sunset kind of the way that, you know, it'd be a little easier for me. But that didn't last. Being away from the farm only made them want to come back. My entire life I was outside helping on the farm and, you know, I had freedom. I get to look at, you know, this beautiful picturesque pasture and the fields and stuff like that all the time and I get to see nature at its finest. There's not really another job that you can do that. I mean, there's some probably out there. And I ended up coming back for that and a few other reasons. And, you know, would I want to do something else? Probably not. I'd say that there was definitely a turning point for me where I thought I was going to go be an accountant. I was going to make a lot of money and I was going to be successful and happy and, and have all those nice things. I don't have any of those things in some ways, but I get to work with my family. I get to be outside every day, and I get to see the satisfaction on customers' faces delivering a product. You know, my family's been in this neighborhood for over 100 years, and that definitely weighed heavy on on my mind of what what was going to happen to all that. And I just felt I kind of felt called that I needed to come back to the farm, and that this is where I needed to be in my life. And so every Sunday morning, the Albrights load their trucks and head to market, joining all the other farmers and vendors with the crowd under the expressway. Then by noon, they pack it up and head back to the farm so they can do it again next week. And the most important thing that I find now is people are grateful for their food and they thank us for doing what we do and thank us for coming here every week. And that's very gratifying that we have that personal connection. And that's, that's the greatest part about this market. Can I help you then?